which is a bubble tea cafe that is on Elizabeth Street, very close to Dundas Square and the Eaton Center. So if you are a UFD student or TMU student or you're just in the area, this is a cafe for you. Very convenient. Yes. Oh yeah. How did we meet? Friendship background. Yes. So. Two years. Yeah. Two years. We met summer. No, I'm not gonna know the year. I'm not I gonna don't remember the year. year. Yeah. Like 2022. <laughs> Something. Summer before grade 12. Summer before grade 12, we met at U of T's psychology program as interns! Interns! <laughs> yeah, and we bonded heavily over not our love for psychology, but Welch's gummies. So. Did I tell you? I'm not even a psychology student anymore. <laughs> I'm calling to science, which is still under the umbrella of psychology. I'm also doing like a side of computer science now. Yeah. Can you tell we haven't seen each other in so long? Yeah, anyways. anyways, so I got the Osmanthus oolong tea with cream and tapioca. What did you get? I got, it's called the Dong Ding oolong tea plus fresh milk with less ice, 30% sugar. Nice. Well, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Okay, this is like super smooth. The cream has a very strong taste, which I like. And the tapioca is really chewy. Mm -hmm. So is mine. I really like the tapioca. Mine is, the milk is really, really strong. Like you really taste the milk. Ratio, definitely like more milk than you'd be used to in boba. I like it, but that's not for you. It's not for you. Mm -hmm. And oolong tea. I always get my boba with oolong or green tea or jasmine tea, so I knew I would like like this one. But I was debating between this and their fruit tea, so maybe that for next time. Mm -hmm. But yeah. What would you rate it out of 10? 10 being the best. My drink, I would say like a solid eight. Solid eight, because nice. I like the milk. Um, but again, I feel like that's just like personal mm -hmm. preference. And also, it's a little bit too sweet for me still. I just don't like sweet stuff in general. So next time I might just feel like no sugar. Because the tapioca itself is already sweet, you know? True. Okay, for me, I think I would give this an eight as well. It's very good. I really like how smooth the drink is. I do like sweet things, so yeah. Time to talk about the ambiance of this cafe. What do you think? I really like it. Like the Japur, you can see very unique, mm -hmm. very, very different, not at all like traditional cafe. Like, and everything is like really cohesive too. Like if you look at like the counter, like even that decor like mimics the shelves and everything else. So it's everything is like very cohesive. Love it. Mm -hmm. Very different. And like the vibe overall, like all the wood. Yeah, I think the vibe is very cozy. I really love books and I'm just really liking the mix of different books that they have. And they have pretty upbeat music here. So it's kind of like, Hang out with friends vibes. Mm -hmm. We were saying it's not much of a study cafe. Mm -hmm. There is free Wi-Fi, which is a plus. Yeah, a plus. But there are not many tables, not that much seating, mm -hmm. so not very like study for a long time. But very good for like coming with friends. Yes, for sure. There's kind of two areas which you probably saw from Victoria's lovely montage, but. I feel like this one, it's like very, very intimate. So if somebody was already sitting here that I don't know them, I don't know if I would also sit with them. Decor. Design is like peak, but practicality holds it down to like a six and a half. Okay, yeah. Valid. That's yeah. valid. I do really enjoy the overall vibe and the ambiance. So I would personally give it an 8 out of 10. Our overall rating for this cafe is a 7.5 out of 10. Not a 7, because 7 is like a cop out. So 7.5, because leaning more upwards, because the drinks, the good. <laughs> overall design is very, very good. It's just more the practicality that I have a problem with. 
I think it's a great place for you to kind of catch up with a friend, which is what we're gonna do because this girl has not been in the city. No, and we no have for a too lot long. to catch up on. Yeah, this girl has been living it up at UCLA and has not been back in the city. So. Go Bruins! But, yeah. And I leave next week, so I was like, I need to see Victoria before I go again. I'm joined back here with Jane. <laughs> Got the shake. We're on a kind of wobbly table and we keep on hitting it, so it's a little stressful. We are making the most out of our time together before she leaves for UCLA. Literally, how many days? Like five days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even do that. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, we are here today Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. okay, today <laughs> this, your bloopers reel is just gonna be us shaking the table. Okay guys, so we are at Nabulu Coffee today. It's this cafe that's on some <laughs> oh, the speedy. <laughs> We said that we'd be speedy and efficient because it's very crowded in here and we don't want to be a disturbance. <laughs> so this cafe is on St. Joseph Street. It's really close to Wellesley Station and also super- <laughs> Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So this cafe is really close to Wellesley Station and also UFT campus. KGO, KGO bunch of other museums. Yes. And it's just like central downtown. It's very downtown vibes too. It's a busy street and it's very accessible by the public transit. Okay, let's get to what we ordered for drinks and pastries. I got an iced latte. Lovely. I got their blue matcha. Ooh. So I'm very excited. They said that it tastes like regular matcha, but it's a bit more floral. So okay, I'm that. excited. And I also got a brownie. Okay, let's taste test. Cheers. Cheers. Like super fudgy brownies 
and also like a chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. It's a good balance between that. Their crust is really good though. Mm -hmm. So if you're a brownie crust girl or like a brownie top slash corner, you'll like it. Let us rate our... Why can I not say our? Can you hear my Canadian accent? <laughs> The number of times people have like outed me for being Canadian from the way I say sorry. Sorry? Oh, yeah. I hear it now. Yeah. The first day of moving, I was like pushing somebody's car and then I accidentally like knocked it off track and then, like gently hit somebody and I go, oh my god, sorry, sorry, sorry. Five heads turned to me and they're like, oh, are you a Canadian? Oh. I was like, oh. Anyways, rating our drinks. Yeah, rating our drinks. You go first. Tough critic. Yeah, this is this is the critical critic right here. I would say a solid like three out of ten. Like and they advertise it as matcha. It's really not matcha. It's like some sort of floral concoction. Maybe the powder is like derived from matcha, but also clearly they don't sift it. You know, like it's like chunky. Like I taste like balls mm. of the powder. Oh. Like it's not. Yeah, and I, I fear if this is like how they like handle their matcha either, that their actual matcha latte is like that as well. For me, I think I would rate this latte a solid 8 out of 10. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's I would solid. rate I would rate this latte an 8 out of 10 because honestly, I feel like the coffee taste, it's really rich and that's something I really appreciate in a coffee. So yeah, it's smooth, refreshing. Ooh, refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so for the brownie, I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. Dang. I'll give it like a 7 and a half. <laughs> really tough critic. Oh my That's gosh. Nothing so like spectacular. That's true. But the crust is good. Like I would order this again. And it's like a pretty hefty chunk. I don't know how much you paid for it though. It was like four. Four oh. four fifty. Okay. Yeah, seven and a half. Like nothing like spectacular, but also like good, you know? So, what did I give it? A 9 out of 10? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. You're making me feel like I need to be a temper critic. <laughs> no, but overall, you okay, can but, judge by how you've been. But to be fair, so. for me, like 10 out of 10 is not like, oh my god, this is like life changing. It's oh, more really? just like, oh, this is really good. Damn. <laughs> me, that's like a, that's like you really gotta be like, like my jaw needs to go on the floor. <laughs> like I need to be like raving about this comeback. Like I went to this Indian restaurant in um, London called The Shoe. Mm. Literally life changing to the point where I, for my like trip, I've been back five times. <laughs> that is a ten out of ten. Okay. That is ten out of ten. Noted. Anyways, like would you come back five more times within the span of like four weeks just for the brownie? That's a ten out of ten. Okay, then like, with that scale, <laughs> <laughs> don't go with my scale. <laughs> okay, I'll rate the brownie like an 8 out of 10. Like it's a good brownie. It's a good brownie. Okay, so let's talk about the ambiance of this cafe. Personally, I think it's really giving European. Yeah, it's very nice. Very, very I like cozy. the vibes. Very yeah. warm. It very much matches mm -hmm. Ikatora's outfit today. <laughs> this is Ikatora. Um, there is construction outside right now, but hopefully that is not here by the time many of you guys come. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Am I becoming a yeah. tuber? <laughs> is that how you see me? <laughs> um, what's a great place for studying? Free my time. Yeah, it seems like a popular spot, so, you know, seats fill up quickly yeah. as people are, like, here to study and stuff, so... It was hard for us to find a spot. Yeah. It's a little rustic, a little boho. See how I said everything before people walked in? I'm getting so good. I'm getting so good, guys. <laughs> you have that, like, inner, like, influencer, YouTuber oh. rhythm. Oh. No. It's what being in LA has done to me. Every way I True. turn, I need a micro-influencer. Oh, I, like, yeah. don't know. I will, like, meet them, talk to have them. Have you met Erica? Well, the no! Oh, my friends are her! My friends are her! While they were shopping at... Uh, uh, no, I really was. While they were shopping at uh, Brandy Melville, she was right beside my school, and she walked into it. I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. But anyways, yeah. ambiance. Do you have anything oh, else yeah. to add? Like, no. It's just giving. <laughs> I'm in timeout. 
they also have this one section where there's like this old typewriter set up and I think that's just so cute. Like that yeah. is so Pinterest. Yeah, it's yeah. adorable. This cafe is so Pinterest. Yeah. Yeah. Very specific if this is your vibe. Mm -hmm. But I think it should be everybody's vibe because it's a great vibe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah. I will be posting photos of this cafe on my Pinterest so look out for that. What's your Pinterest? Victoria Man 77 as always, that's like every single oh, really? social I have ever, yeah. Let's rate the ambiance, what do you think? I'd say it's a solid like 7 out of 10. Would it prefer when we're seating? I like it. 7 out of 10. 7.5 out of 10. That way okay. you know which way I'm leaning. Because I said 7 is like a cop out. Yeah, yeah. right. Okay, I think personally 8 out of 10. I really love this type of vibe for a cafe, so... Overall rating of this cafe is a 7.5 out of 10. I would visit again. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like, it's just super cute. Would get something else though. But yeah, <laughs> I would come again. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna spend the rest of our time chatting and catching up before she leaves for LA. <laughs> you need to stop with that.